The COVID-19 pandemic has taught lifetime lessons to the entire world and reiterated the fact that only change is constant as the rest of the world's affairs will have to innovate and adapt. Four years ago, the India Sanitation Coalition along with FIKI had co-created a high-level summit not only to address the issues and challenges in the sanitation space but also empower and recognize various individuals and stakeholders for their persistent efforts across the sanitation value chain. After four years of relentless efforts, the initiative by India Sanitation Coalition and FIKI is now showing very positive results. This year, ISC and FIKI have once again instituted the fourth edition of ISC FIKI Sanitation Awards and India Sanitation Conclave on a virtual format. The two-day conclave was based on the theme, Getting India Back to Work. Here are some highlights from the webinar. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the India Sanitation Coalition FIKI Sanitation Awards and India Sanitation Conclave 2020. To help set the tone as we kick off the ISC FIKI Sanitation Awards and India Sanitation Conclave 2020, please join me in welcoming the founder and the chair of the India Sanitation Coalition, Nena Lal Kirwal. Friends in media, ladies and gentlemen, sanitation is finally center stage in India. It needed the focused efforts of the government with very strong support right from the top, from the Prime Minister himself and the top leadership to make this into a Jan Andolan, a people's movement, so to say. And congratulations are due to the government and the people of India on the achievements of the Swachh Bharat Mission Phase 1, both urban and rural. So today, I welcome all of you to our fourth edition of the India Sanitation Coalition and the FIKI Sanitation Awards Ceremony. And while we gather to celebrate this, we can also celebrate that over 4,000 urban local bodies in urban and more than 6 lakh villages in rural India have already been declared open defecation free. The coverage status of individual household latrines in the country, which was a mere 36% at the start of the program in 2014, uh, today has 6.6 .6 million individual household toilets that have been constructed and over 100 million toilets in rural areas of India. The country is winning global accolades uh, and these are really well earned in that we have seen through the Swachh Bharat mission one of the largest ever, if not the largest ever, behavior change program ever attempted. And all this in five years in terms of outcomes achieved in WASH and open defecation. However, achieving what we have, we can't rest on these laurels because it is important that we also look at the treatment of this fecal sludge, which accumulates in these systems. It needs to be removed, it needs to be treated, it needs to be disposed of safely. As for the winners, I'd like to congratulate each of them for their outstanding work and wish them every success in scaling up and helping in a safer and healthier India. Let me welcome all of you to an interesting two days of enriching deliberations. Each one of you, your contributions, your role, is critical in us as a country achieving a safe and hygienic place for all of us to live in. So thank you. Over to you, Pooja. Please join me in welcoming a very special guest, the Honorable Minister Jal Shakti, Shri Gajendra Singh Shekhanat. I have all the people who have been chosen for this award, who have been chosen for this award, I want to give them all the 
और क्योंकि माशलकर साहब की चेयरमैनशिप में कमेटी ने बहुत एक्सरसाइज की होगी और बहुत सारी एक्सरसाइज के बाद में नाम को शॉर्टलिस्ट कर पाए होंगे मैं जानता हूं कि इनके सामने बहुत बड़ी चुनौती होगी कि एक कि किसको चुना जाए या किसको नहीं चुना जाए लेकिन जो चुने गए हैं मुझे लगता है कि उनके बजाय जो लोग नहीं चुन पाए जिनका नाम नहीं आया आज इस लिस्ट में अवार्ड सेरेमनी में उनका कंट्रीब्यूशन भी उतना ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट और उतना ही महत्वपूर्ण है इसलिए मुझे लगता है कि जितनी बधाई में इन सब लोगों को जिनको आज अवार्ड आज इस अवार्ड सेरेमनी में अवार्ड मिला मिलेगा उनको जितनी बधाई दू उतनी ही बधाई में उन सब लोगों को भी देना चाहता हूँ जिन लोगों को इसके लिए कंसीडर किया जाएगा या गया था या अपने आप को जिन्होंने इस कंसीडरेशन के लिए रिप्रेजेंट किया होगा दैट वी वी आल्सो नीड टू बी कंसीडर्ड फॉर दिस लेकिन उससे भी ज्यादा बधाई मैं उन लोगों को देना चाहता हूं जो साइलेंट वॉरियर्स की जगह करें काम भी कर रहे हैं और अपने आप को उन्होंने किसी अवार्ड के लिए प्रस्तुत भी नहीं किया लेकिन इस महायज्ञ में उनकी भूमिका और भी ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है उन्होंने नीव की ईट की तरह फाउंडेशन स्टोन की तरह काम किया है तो मैं ऐसे सारे लोगों को जो इस यज्ञ में माननीय मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में जो ये यज्ञ हुआ इसमें साथ जुड़े उन सब को बधाई देना चाहता हूं विशेष रूप से फिक्की को अनवेश नैना लाल की दुबई जी को कि उन्होंने हर कदम पे हमारे साथ में खड़े रह करके न केवल हमारा हौसला बढ़ाया अभी तो हम सबको सहयोग भी प्रदान किया बहुत सारा धन्यवाद जय हिंद ना फॉर इंडिया सस्टेनेबल सैनिटेशन विजन टू मटीरियलाइज it will require unprecedented collaboration between the public and the private sector so next i present to you a trailblazer that's providing our government exactly that strategic policy vision ladies and gentlemen please join me in welcoming the honorable minister housing and urban affairs government of india shri hardeep singh puri the indian sanitation coalition has a critical role to play supported by its corporate partners and members of the coalition besides the financing institutions whose role in the first phase of the mission has also been commendable the expertise and resources of the private sector must be leveraged for meeting the growing demand for solid and liquid waste management services the intent is to focus on and promote scalable and commercially viable solutions to make the sanitation economy attractive to private businesses multiple avenues to have have already been identified india sanitation coalition has tried to enable safe and sustainable sanitation by bringing multiple organizations on a common platform through a range of catalytic actions that include supporting the unlocking of wash financing with a focus on the private sector i congratulate all the winners of the isc fiki sanitation awards this year who have contributed to help india provide sanitation services for its citizens on this occasion i am also happy to release the annual publication of isc fiki accolade which commemorates these awards by providing a brief profile of the winners including a summary of their contribution i look forward to our continued collaborative efforts to make india cleaner safer and healthier thank you message of sanitation and hygiene promotion is very very relevant in today's in the pandemic situation so we all know that you know wearing a mask uh, washing your hands with soap social distancing these behaviors are important at a household level as well as at a community level the first panel discussion themed at post pandemic preparedness a wash response where the top industry leaders and subject experts debated on the importance of wash in a post covid world neera jain country director of path india moderated the session and here's what he opined
you know, we're talking about post pandemic. Now, we don't know when we can define post pandemic because the pandemic continues and it probably will continue through 2021 the way we are seeing it move. But really, what is going to be the response from the sector for water, sanitation, and hygiene? The pandemic itself, COVID itself, has had some collateral advantage. And the big advantage is that hygiene and you know the connection with health has come bang in the center of the conversation. Health has become a subject which is very political now, which means, again, it comes into the center of the conversation, which means we will probably see a lot of investment coming there. Uh, we've also seen the economic impact. So we've got economics, politics, and health all coming into one alignment, which is which is absolutely, hopefully this is going to change uh, the future of the country. So let's work together, together to restore this connectivity so that we can build a healthy and prosperous future for all. I want to thank you again for everything that you are doing. You definitely have our full support and we are forever grateful for all that you have achieved. Thank you very much. The last session of day one witnessed the launch of Social Return on Investment Evaluation Study Report of Detol School Hygiene Education Program 2020. Ravi Bhatnagar from Racket Bank Kaiser introduced the report. Here are some key points. I hope like, you know, this, uh, this study what we have done will be, it's first of its own kind. It, it has a global benchmarking. And I'm very sure my good office, along with the regions which I support, and in Rekit Binkiza, we will be able to use it to the maximum. Uh, my global leadership is also very thankful to uh, Fiki ISC, uh, who has given us this opportunity and this platform uh, to launch this particular report here. Day 2 of the 4th ISC Fiki Sanitation Awards and India Sanitation Conclave resumed with the unveiling of ISC compendium Business of Change, Models for Success in Fecal Sludge and Septage Management by Hardeep Singh Puri, Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs, Government of India. I am happy to release the compendium today at the India Sanitation Conclave 2020, which will serve as a knowledge bank and best practices sharing platform that reinforces the build, use, maintain, treat theme. The treat component in the sanitation value chain has assumed even more significance amid the COVID-19 outbreak, as we can protect our citizens through good hygiene. My best wishes to the India Sanitation Coalition team as they release these state-level case studies to catalyze FSM intervention across the country to achieve a cleaner and healthier India. Thank you very much.
The next webinar was based on the theme of sanitation targets of SDG 6.2, Thinking Goes Beyond Pipe Sowers. The discussion highlighted that within the sanitation target of SDG Target 6.2, for the first time, the focus is not only on toilet access but on managing the entire sanitation value chain. Durga Shankar Mishra, Secretary to Government of India, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, concluded the session with his valuable remarks. I think the lesson we need to learn is to move on the sustainable path. I would like to thank FICCI and India Sanitation Coalition for organizing such an important subject. I am sure there is going to be a lot of learning. I'll be very happy if you have if you have, uh, uh, consolidate all those things and share with me in the ministry because we work on the policy front. We can definitely make use of all the good things which are coming out of discussion in this India Sanitation Conclave. Thank you. The Conclave also launched a white paper on accelerating private sector engagement for FSSM in India, done under the joint aegis of India Sanitation Coalition and EY. It largely covers um, examples from across the country from different states in terms of what kind of engagement have been thus far with the private sector and what further could be done to accelerate the same momentum. The next session witnessed a fireside chat with Amitabh Khan, CEO of Niti Aayog, in conversation with Naina Lal Kidwai on the topic of financing of the SDGs. I'm going to start by really uh, pushing you to tell us about what steps do you see India taking to finance the WASH and SDG 6 gap? Uh, the India investment grid actually uh, which uh, uh, the Department of Industries has highlighted that over 1800 investment opportunities are available in the water and sanitation sector in India amounting to more than 290 billion US dollars. And yeah. these are in the areas of water treatment plants, sewage collection, treatment and disposal, uh, solid waste management and irrigation. And the private sector can very effectively and many private sector companies are actually doing it effectively participate in these opportunities. Uh, in addition to this, we've seen a number of companies, you know, there has to be a business model and the yeah. business model needs to be effectively built up in case we need to succeed over a long period of time. Yeah. And without that, it's not possible to sustain this movement over a long period of time. Next in line was another webinar where the panelists discussed how and where private sector enterprises could partner with the government as well as philanthropic organizations to bring about the financial, societal and environmental change required in WASH. The topic of the discussion was financing for sanitation in the next decade, moving from word to action. But just to highlight that India needs 2.64 trillion US dollars to meet its UN SDG obligations, offering the private sector a huge investment opportunity. And of this, a total amount of US dollars, 192.2 billion, which is nearly 10%, uh, is for clean water and sanitation. India, we've had examples with the Gates Foundation, where they've come in with some grants and driven private sector um, uh, capacity. Um, but the challenges is looking at things like a municipal uh, level, looking at um, the, the water system in its totality in terms of looking at um, opportunities for irrigation um, and other revenue streams that can help. I think the, the funding is there. The institutions are, are starting to move much more actively. Uh, the donors are pushing for results, but because of the climate and the push, and that's where we've seen a lot of the innovation, and technology develop um, and blended finance at the moment isn't isn't so much in the water space. How do you bring institutional capital at scale to address this issue? You know, Amitabh mentioned that we have three hundred billion dollars of investable projects at Wash. I would I would encourage the government then to think about using the model that they've used in roads, in airports, uh, now thinking about oil and gas pipelines. Uh, uh, transmission towers, where the government has actually created all these assets, but then created contracts around those assets, uh, which are then investable by large pension plans and insurance companies around the world. We believe commercial uh, or private capital drives innovation in industries. And I think a lot of the sectors that we're talking about today, the WASH sector in particular, 
the real driver, driving force will be how do you bring innovation, both I would say financial innovation and technological innovation and access innovation, right? Business model innovation, which Vikram talked about to really make things happen. I think there's, there's quite a bit of scope in the wash space to fund product innovations from with venture capital initially, and then eventually, right, as more and more capital comes into this space, then you can start funding more, more capitally intensive um, business models at scale. And so I think there's th that's probably the biggest similarity between the two spaces. Um, and, and I would, you know, I would hope people are starting to look at product companies like that because for, for many, you know, early stage product companies that are say more IOT based, right? You're, you're talking about a couple million dollars to get a product to market that, that can be revenue generating quite early on. And so, um, hopefully we can, we can find examples of that in the wash space and back them. Thank you all for being such important part of uh, what is really our most critical area of work going forward this year, which is finance, because without finance, nothing that we are envisaging is going to happen. This um, little treat has been prepared uh, in-house and is something which we will take forward uh, through the year. Tara embodies the aspirational India, an India that wants to get rid of the shackles of poverty, inadequate sanitation, healthcare, and the inequalities that prevail here. Tara is a young girl who neither understands nor accepts the world as it is. She is our little star. And the campaign, which is being launched here today, will continue into the next 12 months, with this being the first of several such videos we will launch, which will interlink SDGs to, and particularly SDG 6, to the other SDGs as soon through the eyes of Tara. In addition, ISC will work with its partners and other intermediaries in the industry to curate knowledge pieces. You saw some of them today, uh, so that we can have studies on the interlinkages between SDGs 6 and 5. So as we look at SDGs 6 and 5, some of the reports that we have in this regard will, in fact, form the body of the work as we go forward. And we will look at how investment in water and sanitation benefits gender, benefits livelihoods, benefits health. And each quarter, we'll see the launch of a new study linking SDG 6 to these other SDGs, uh, highlighting the interdependencies and where private sector funding is critical. The interlinkages between SDG 6 and SDG 5, and we will continue to establish these interlinkages through the year. So here we are at the end of two days with all of you having given us a very patient hearing of having participated. But we don't stop here. Your thoughts, your inputs, your comments are all critical for us to inform our work over the next year before we come back to you again with our next conclave.